What's going on guys? So I arrived in Toronto a couple weeks ago and I found this outdoor rink online on the uh, ODR Heaven TikTok and I shared it on my Instagram. And when I shared it, the owners of the rink actually invited me to come down. So that's what I'm here doing today. Uh, there's a young kid, Alex, uh, loves hockey. He's out there all the time. I'm gonna join him. I'm pumped. Outdoor rinks are closed in Toronto right now. So this is a real treat for me. ODR season will not die. We're going to the rink. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoy the video. Let's go. All right, they teed up the song for me. Hell's bells, the lights are on. Let's go check this rink out, come on. Oh my God. Looks just like in the video. <laughs> That's legit. This is legendary. Woo! Unbelievable, dude. What? Wow! Let's go! Let's go! This is the best day of my life. All right, stepping on for the first time. Oh, baby! Let's go! What a rink. Ice is good. ODR shut down in Toronto. Not here though. All right, we're rocking. Let's go boys. So this is where the chiller system is here. So even when it's what, plus five out, we're still rocking. The ice is still really, really good. Obviously it gets better the colder it is. But uh, this would not be possible without those chiller systems. Awesome stuff. Oh, good start. Yeah. Get it. Oh. Save. Oh, nice! Got him sliding. <laughs> he's, he's testing the ice. <laughs> oh, nice save. There it is. Nice! That's my favorite move. I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'll do backhand toe. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, nice save. He, that's the second time he done that. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, I'll, I'll do the flip, flip up backhand and I'll chip it through his five hole. It'll be embarrassing. If it works. It works. So on this one, I'm gonna push it five hole. I'm gonna tap the knob of the stick, exposing the five hole.
This epic backyard rink is right in the city of Toronto, believe it or not. You don't find rinks like this right in the heart of the city, and I was shocked to hear that this was the location. A ton of thought went into building this rink, and they shared with me the ingredients you need to make an epic backyard rink. First, you need to have a perfect and plentiful exterior lighting system so that the shadows are not created on the ice, and at the same time, the ice is very well lit. They have multiple different color settings and light settings like the center ice puck drop and multiple different color options to choose from as they bounce around the arena. It was an absolute party out there and the lighting played a huge role. Secondly, a custom amplified sound system with an abundance of well-placed speakers. Let me tell you, this feature was game-changing. You seriously felt like you were taking warmies in an NHL game with the quality of the sound and how high the sound could really get. It really pumped you up. It was such an unreal feeling having your favorite beats ripping in the background as you were playing some puck. Third, and most importantly, of course, you want quality ice. Now, they have a refrigerated ice making system, which means that they have full control over the clarity and thickness of the ice. And with the temperatures dropping or even raising above zero, they're still able to have ice, which you just don't get with natural ice surfaces, right? So this allows you to make adjustments based on the temperatures that you're facing. So we were actually filming on a day where it wasn't very cold outside but they were still able to make the ice spectacular. And that's simply something you just can't do with natural ice rinks. Of course, it does cost a lot more. And fourth, you want well-designed hockey boards with identifiable logos. Now, I know a lot of people were asking why they'd put logos there. Are they paid to do it? Now, they are not paid to do it. They just wanted to give this the true authentic feel like you were at an NHL game. I'm a huge fan of it because it really does give that authentic NHL look. Of course, you can decide whether or not you want advertisements around the boards, uh, but they chose to do that, and I think it looks very cool. They had three-quarter Lexan glass to absorb the power of shooting the puck while also mimicking that NHL atmosphere. And lastly, the setting was perfect. Just being surrounded by nature, the trees all around you, uh, grass surrounding the rink gives it that true outdoor rink experience. No one loves ODR season more than me and I'll fight anyone who says they do. And being at this rink, strategically placing the nature around it gives it that open concept feeling, but also that feeling of being surrounded by nature, playing hockey in a mini replica NHL rink. You really kind of get the best of both worlds there. And lastly, the most important ingredient, which is something you can't buy, is the passion you have for the game of hockey to make this rink a possibility. And this rink specifically was dreamt up and designed by a loving father and husband in David Weiss. And he's a very modest guy, so he'd probably kill me for saying any of this, but I just have to mention it. His passion for dreaming, his dream ice for his family and their friends to enjoy, to have memories on, is immeasurable. He's clearly put so much thought into doing this. And I know a lot of people are going to look at this rink and say, must be nice to be rich. Obviously, to have these luxuries, you got to have some money. But getting to know this family has been very awesome because, quite simply, David is a man who worked hard, had a dream, did his research and grinded to make it all happen. So this isn't something you can just do. Uh, you don't wanna just pay a guy and say, build this. Uh, it was an honor to be invited to such an amazing rink. And on a personal note, as a lover of hockey and ODR season, it meant the world to me to be able to skate on a rink like this. And I wanna continue to find these epic rinks from around the city and around the world. Uh, but until then, I'm definitely happy to skate on this one. Outdoor rinks are closed here in Toronto. Uh, so this experience was extra special for me. And again, a special thanks to the Weiss family for having me out. All right, there you have it, guys. Saw this outdoor rink on Instagram. Had to come out. Uh, big thanks for the invitation. One of the best outdoor rinks I've ever been to. They got the lights, they got the sound. I felt like I was in an NHL game. It was awesome. Got the extended invitation. I can come here whenever I want, so I'm probably gonna live here. Uh, I probably have to tell them that, but uh, amazing time here, really great facilities, and when it gets colder, it's just gonna get better. So thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'm not gonna tell you where this place is. None of you are invited, just for me, okay? See you guys next time. <laughs>